Um, right, now then, um, we're starting off with uh, news from someone who I've got an awful lot of time for, which is uh, Cos, Colin Greenwood from Radiohead. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so he was, he was involved in a special event last night to celebrate World Radio Day. Every day is World Radio Day for us. Well, that's right. Uh, and he well, launched, well said. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he launched a 24-hour pop-up radio station with performance, performances from Laura and Vula, mm-hmm. Caribou, Fortet, and that was at the Institute of Contemporary Art in London last mm. night. Uh, so their performance was broadcast live, and the station has got some really fascinating contributions from some really interesting people. Uh, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, Bishop Desmond Tutu. Well, we've got Darwin Dees on yeah. tomorrow, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Robin Lustig. There's a whole bunch of um, musicians playing, which is really exciting for me. There's uh, Laura Mavulla, who I heard on the radio on Radio Six this weekend, and it sounded great. And then uh, got some friends, um, Kieran from Fortet and um, Dan from Caribou, are doing a couple of DJ sets as well. And and we, and you can also check it out on TuneIn if you go onto the website and look up TuneIn and look up uh, World Radio Day. You can hear the live stream of the show and the events and they kick off around five i mean it's been happening all day but it's gonna the music and the live event from the ica is going to kick off around six o'clock so apart from this then what else are you up to at the moment are you asking about radiohead well I, the yes, head yes <laughs> uh we're, we're 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 taking it we're taking some time out whilst uh, um people are like uh, doing some other stuff doing their own things and um the plan is to get back together again end of the summer the Children's Radio Foundation has about half a dozen projects in Africa and I went and spent just under two weeks in South Africa and visited some community radio stations which exist in various you know, in various um, places in, in South Africa and yeah. uh, they have uh, radio shows uh, uh, where, where presenters on each of the community radio stations put, put aside an hour or so for young reporters, uh, young people from the local communities to make programmes about their communities and their lives and the issues that affect them they care about and uh, it's just fantastic. I, I spent far too much time um, uh, like uh, going to radio stations around America and Europe with Radiohead and uh, you know doing interviews and stuff and, and, and these kids they would put like most of the, the journal- journalist broadcasters to shame with their skills you know and their tact and sensitivity when they're interviewing people and uh, just, just, and their enthusiasm, as you said. And there's something about, like, when you put a microphone in front of someone and ask them what they think about something and what matters to them, it's really empowering. It's a very, it's, it's a very valuable, important um, way of giving people, like, a platform to, to, to say what they think about, you know, what, what their, how their lives are and, and what direction they'd like them to take. So uh, it's, it's just fantastic. Um, and it's a wonderful low tech technology as well, you know, it's yeah. like, as you know, radio, but it's also a source for l- many other things because you can create all these programs and get streamed on the internet and, and it's, you know, it's just fantastic. Why do you think that radio, because it really has survived, hasn't it, as an effective, really powerful means of communication. Yeah. Um, why do you think that is and what, what, what do you like about radio? It's survived because it's low tech and it's low cost, it's ubiquitous, um, it's pretty reliable and... Uh, you know, it's something that has got such a big, massive reach. And uh, I mean, I like radio because uh, I grew up with it. Um, in my house, it was all talk radio, radio four, and world service. And it was really important uh, for me growing up and uh, to to hear all these voices coming from around the world. And uh, you know, so it's that, so it's just been always a big, big passion of mine. The music scene uh, in, in Johannesburg is just fantastic. You know, the sort of club scene there is really exciting, and I met some great musicians whilst I was over there as well. What kind of what kind of music? It's a sort of domestic house music. But you know what? I was I mean, you know, cool, I'm a bit, bit of a fuddy duddy. But what I was really enjoying was the sort of seventies South African music that I hadn't heard before. This sort of take on rock music, um, which is, this guy called Mpumi from a band called the Blackjacks was playing playing to me with these sort of slow sort of big chord changes and guitars and stuff and you know but with an African obviously an African um, flavour which I hadn't heard before.